الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. It's an obligation upon the believers to love one another. This is an obligation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has made upon us. And, and from fitra, from the fitra of Ahli Iman, from the people of belief, is that they should love one another because they share the same creed. They share Iman Billah. They're striving to get to paradise on the same path, the same minhaj, the same methodology to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And the scholars of Islam all throughout Islamic history have made this, uh, made this point in the books of, whether it be the books of fiqh, in the books of etiqad, in, the, in, in all the books, the books of hadith, you'll find it. For example, Imam Muslim has a chapter entitled, Bab Mawalat al-Mu'mineen wa munqati'a ghayrihim wa bara'ati minhum. That Imam Muslim, rahimahullah ta'ala, you'll find in Sahih Muslim, he has a chapter entitled, The Chapter of Loving the Believers, or, or Supporting the Believers, and Cutting Off Other Than Them, and Disliking Them, meaning disliking other than the believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this chapter is a very important hadith, and we'll bring out some of the benefits that Sheikh uh, Muhammad bin Salid bin Uthaymeen rahimahullah ta'ala brought about re- related to this very important topic because the believers are, uh, love one another and they support one another and in this time of great fitna and trial and struggle that we face throughout the world we should have love for Ahle Iman even more so striving to help and support one another when we see our brothers and sisters suffering in the various lands that they suffer with. If you have wealth that you can contribute to alleviate their suffer, suffering, then do so. If you can at least, if nothing else, in the depths of the night or during the day, whenever you make supplication, remember your brothers and sisters in Iman and supplication for the hardships and trials that they are facing. And those trials may come to you one day. And we hope that we support one another and love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's look at what Imam Muslim, uh, the from the... Uh, from, uh, Imam Muslim's book, which we entitled Sahih Muslim, uh, what, uh, the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu from the hadith of Amr ibn As, قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم جهر غير سر. So Amr ibn As, As uh, رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said, I heard the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say this out loud, not... Um, not quietly or not as a secret. Yaqul ala inna ahla ahli abi fulan, ahla abi fulan, yani fulanin, laysu li bi awliya'a. So the Prophet sallallahu said, uh, Amr ibn As heard the Prophet sallallahu say this out loud, that verily the people or the family of so-and-so are not my supporters. Oliya meaning supporters, protectors, or those you, you love, uh, etc. There's many definitions for the uh, the term Oliya or Wali. Then the Prophet ﷺ said after this, he said, إِنَّمَا وَلِيِّي اللَّهِ وَصَالِهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ very important here. The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, my uh, protector is Allah and the righteous believers. SubhanAllah, look at that ibarah. There are so many benefits in that that last uh, sentence in the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, my protector is Allah and the righteous believers. From this, the Shaykh, Shaykh, Salih bin, uh, Shaykh Muhammad uh, bin Salih bin Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned some very important benefits. One of the things he said, he said that this shows us the loving and the hating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that it's such a great affair, it's such a great affair, and that it's an obligation upon a person to love, that his love and his, his dislike is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that that they love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their adawa or their enmity is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is a, an, a, an aspect of iman. 
Then the Sheikh went on to say that the people are, uh, there are three types, uh, three categories regarding this love and, and, and hate for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said the first type is the muwalat mutlaq. This is the loving or seeking the protection or the, the, the loving uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in general, you know, without exception. And this is the case with the, uh, in, in, in loving the believers, meaning the believers, righteous believers, those people who do not deceive people by being in, falling into ma'asi. Now all of us make mistakes, but the Shaykh is making a point here, لَمْ يتلب, uh, لم يتلب, يتلبسوا بِمَعَاسِي لم يتلبس بمعاسي that the person does not deceive people with sinfulness. So on the, these people, these people are the uh, believers, the believers camel. So these mu'minin, those people who are righteous Muslims, they should be loved without exception, and it is an obligation, as the Sheikh said, وَيَجِبُ عَلَيْنَا مُنَاصِرَتُهُمْ بِكُلِّ hal. And it is an obligation that we assist them in. In every situation, in any way we can. This is the case for the believer, the righteous believer. Then the Shaykh went on and said, Akismathani, the second group regarding the loving and hating for the sake of Allah. He said, Aksdalik, Aksman ma sabak. He said, It's the opposite of what just preceded. It is disliking without exception. And this is the case for those who hate uh, Allah and His Messenger who hate Islam, who disbelieve in Allah and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all that he came with, or even a portion of what he came with. This is the case of that they, we should not assist them, especially in supporting, uh, assisting them over the believers. Never. And is an obligation for us to be far away from that. That doesn't mean that you, there's no... Uh, for example, to to clear up some of the the doubtfulness, some people believe. Well, yes, I, I have non-Muslim family. I have this non-Muslim non-Muslim uh, people I do business with, and this. No, that's that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is supporting disbelief over belief. Then the Sheikh went on to say, he said, a kiss of a thalith. He said, a kiss of a thalith. The third uh, type is mawalat. So this is the, the third type. He said, it is loving and hating, not uh, without exception. Which means that you love a person, you love a believer in accordance with the level of his iman. Meaning you love a Muslim fasik. A Muslim who does sin, the one who drinks alcohol, the one who commits zina and adultery, and the one who even kills people, wa'iyadhan billah, may Allah protect us from these evil sins, and does these sins, or any sins, that this person is still a believer. If they're, As long as they're still a believer, they still believe in Allah and His Messenger, they still practice the, the basic tenets of Islam, they, they uh, still pray and so forth, and they regard themselves as a believer in their aqidah, is not outside of the fold of Islam. Then this person, this person who's a believing facet, that this person, we love them in accordance with their iman, and we dislike them in accordance with their uh, sin, their sinfulness. So meaning we dislike their sinfulness and that aspect of them, and we love we love them and support them in their belief, in their iman, when they want to do good. And we, we love them still because they're still a believer. They're still a Muslim. They're still in the fold of Islam and they're still uh, our, our brothers and sisters in Islam. Even if they're from Ahl Bid'ah, even if they're from the people of innovation, even if they're a fasuk, they could be a wicked sinner, but they're still, still in the fold of Islam. They could be... A, uh, an innovator, someone who's changing the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who said, you know, when Allah says something, they say, well, you know, uh, yeah, but, you know, I'm going to take this shortcut. You know, I, I believe this is a new way to worship. This person, as long as they're still in the fold of Islam, as long as their, dis their innovation doesn't take them out of the fold of Islam, then we still have love for them because they're still a Muslim. We love them on the level of their iman. So we love 
and dislike people in accordance with their, their, their level of, of faith. And this is the shan of the believer. Then the sheikh went on to mention, he said, so if a person says, is it possible that uh, love and hatred could, could come together in one heart? How can a person love and hate? This is a beautiful question because I'm sure some people uh, are, are thinking this and we can't help but think this. How can you love and dislike someone at the same time? Then the sheikh said, Nam. He said, yes, this is possible. He said, and he gives an example. He said, for example, when a person is given medicine that is going to cure them, that they know is going to uh, be very beneficial for them, because many of us, we go to the doctors and we use medication and we use natural herbs, we use the various uh, chemical herb uh, medications and what have you, in order to seek a cure. And of course the cure is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when we do that, when we take this medication, we take it, and sometimes the medication, it has a foul smell. Sometimes the medication, it has a foul taste, a very sour taste. But we, so we dislike it in one way, but we love it in another way. Meaning that we take it, out of necessity, and we, we have a love for it because it's helping us to cure. So you're going to keep it, you're not taking it out of force, you're taking it because you say, hey, I see benefit in that. So there's still uh, a type of, as the Sheikh has mentioned in making a, a, an example or a correlation here, that there's still, an exam there's still a love and a dislike, for and, and it's contained for one, um, one object, if you will, or, or, or one in one thing. And this is the also in the case of loving and disliking for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, that we love for the sake of Allah and we dislike for the sake of Allah. We dislike disbelief. We don't like, we want everyone to go to Jannah. We want everyone to have that shot to go to paradise. Because there's only one way. The key to paradise is la ilaha illallah. Wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah is bearing witness that there is one God worthy of worship and Muhammad is the last prophet and messenger. Not supplicating to him, not worshipping him, not worshipping Jesus, not worshipping Moses or Adam, alayhim after salatu wa salam, no. But however, we are ordered to follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pray like he did, and so forth. And that's what makes a person a believer. It isn't their race, it isn't their, their, their looks, it isn't uh, their nationality. But what makes them a believer is that they worship Allah and follow the messengers, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we love them in accordance with their level of iman and belief. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive me for any mistakes or shortcomings that I said or have done. And anything good I said was from Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala.